We are again with Natalie Olbert at the PDS World headquarters in Colorado Springs. Here we have our mock KTA system up and running. Uh, typically this fan will be installed outside of the home or in an attic. Uh, and we have the KTA meter indicator panel somewhere in the home. Now this KTA panel, this box does not measure radon levels at all. It is measuring the power output to the fan. So uh, we are going to go through a scenario where this needle may move and you need to check your system. So uh, Natalie is going to pretend to be a baby bird uh, who has blocked, uh, not a baby bird, but a mama bird who built her <laughs> nest inside the exhaust on a radon system. So she's going to block that airflow and you can see here um, that the system is now uh, reading to the left in the red and you need to check the system. So as a homeowner, you might need to check, uh, check all the fixtures and you go onto the roof and you see, ah, somebody built a bird's nest in there. You remove that bird's nest and you see, huh, the needle's gone back. Uh, it's not quite to center, so I'm going to need to adjust that needle. So you take a non-magnetic screwdriver, adjust it back to center. And voila, you have recalibrated your system. Now, since you did adjust that needle and there was a problem with the system, you're not certain that everything is as it was during the initial installation. So you will need to run a short-term charcoal radon test. Uh, just to be safe. Uh, EPA recommends running these tests every two years or so, but absolutely, if you ever make any adjustments to this needle, even if you know exactly why you did so, like removing a baby bird's nest, you need to run a short-term test just to make sure that your family's safe. So, thanks Natalie, thanks for being Mama Bird.